Thanks! Wait, was that a robot? Yes, it was. Let's go learn more about the robotics program at this school. Hey guys, it's Kayla from Scola. Today we're at Energy Institute High School in Houston, Texas. This school has a ton of cool stuff, so let's go check it out. So I'm here today with Lori Lampropoulos. She's the principal at Energy Institute High School. Thank you so much for having us. Of course. Let me just say, your campus is incredible. And I know a lot of that was formed around this mission you guys have. So what is your mission here? Yeah, so um, we are a magnet, full magnet school, and we have an energy theme. And the idea was uh, we were gonna create a school that really provided kids with these opportunities to learn about new and emerging careers in the energy industry. Um, because we're a project-based learning school, our actual mission states that we develop non-traditional thinkers, STEM thinkers, who are able to solve real-world relevant problems. That's incredible to have that mission. And it's really clear you guys are doing everything possible to make sure that the students are really living that out every single day. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we really believe we're onto something here. Our kids are very different. They get lots of practice in maybe what you wouldn't consider the traditional type of education. Yeah. They learn how to present, they learn how to build, they learn how to prototype things, they learn design process, so it's a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, I love that. So this is Hannah. She is a senior here, so Hannah, senior year, so exciting. Can you tell me a little bit about your college plans and how you feel like your school has really prepared you for what's next to come? Yeah, totally. So I'm planning to attend the University of Texas, Pocum Horns, um, and I feel like my school has really prepared us. We do um, a PBL class, which allows us to create resume, resumes, do um, practice interviews, and then also our PBL structure through our school has really allowed me to um, get closer to my teachers since we have a smaller class size and really get a lot of individualized attention from them, allowing me to have a better education. Uh, we also have a wonderful um, college career readiness counselor on campus who has really helped me through my college career process, helped me find scholarships, whatever I need. And then also um, our admin structure with our deans has also helped me um, with figuring out um, how to get in and sending transcripts, all that fun stuff. Oh my gosh, I remember it all too well, but that's so exciting. Congratulations on your college plans. I also hear you're involved in quite a bit here at the school. So tell me what you're involved in. So I'm involved in a lot of clubs on campus. Um, I co-founded and am president of the Energy Institute Lightning Palm Squad, which is a mix of uh, our cheer and dance team on campus. Um, I'm admin captain of the FIRST Robotics team. I'm in student ambassadors. I'm a member of NHS. Um, I am the events chair of our Young Democrats Club. I'm Congress of the Debate team captain. And I also do the school announcements, so oh, I'm very heavily involved. <gasps> wow, that is a lot. That's incredible. I'm not surprised one bit that you got into every single college that you applied for. So it really sounds like you guys are unique and different, but for you as a student here, what makes this experience different? So one of the things that I like most about energy is just how close you get to your teachers and your students. We have a cohort structure here. Um, which allows our class sizes to be smaller, um, along with the being in groups with our project groups. Mm -hmm. We're really able to meet people from who come from all over since we are a magnet school um, and people who are in um, different classes than us because the classes kind of get mixed around. Um, and I think that just makes energy really different because you get to interact with everyone in school and not like just the AP kids or just yeah. the on-level kids. Oh, I really love that. Yeah. So you guys clearly have a lot that's going on here and a lot that really makes you stand out, but what are three things that you would say really make this school unique? Three things. Well, um, one thing I definitely think is, the, is our updated technology. So we've kind of made it our business to really um, get laptops in kids' hands. We started that 10 years ago, even before, you know, we had all of kind of the pandemic living where we really got kids used to technology. Um, we also have a very unique maker space where kids learn um, technology like 3D printing and laser cutting. Um, they, uh, from the get-go, learn how to email their teachers. They just 
learn a lot of technical things that you don't see a lot of in high school. Um, the second thing that I think makes us very unique is our partnership with the energy industry. We have a lot of uh, uh, very interesting partnerships that provide our kids with opportunities, like it can be field experiences where they get to kind of see what a day in the life of an engineer might look like, or, or a landman, or an accountant in an engineering firm. And then we have a lot of professionals that come in and talk to our kids about some of these new and emerging careers that are happening in, in energy. But the thing that I think makes our school really special is something that we kind of fell into by accident, and that is um, project-based learning. Um, project-based learning, if you were to Google it, everybody in the world says, oh yeah, we're doing project-based learning. I like to say that project-based learning here at Energy is kind of like learning on steroids. Mm. And, um, and I think what makes it super fun for kids is that they really get immersed in solving real world relevant problems that apply to their experience now. And then the other thing that makes it so exciting is that teachers who learn project-based learning also get excited about teaching the curriculum. And so before we knew it, you know, we had created this huge melting pot of excited teachers that were doing cross-curricular projects and they were doing these big launches to get kids excited about solving mm -hmm. problems. And then you had groups of kids that you're really teaching how to work on teams and project groups and the design process. And they're definitely getting excited about their learning again. And then before you know it, you have kids that are really interested again in, in what they're learning. Yeah, those are all really incredible things. And I can honestly say that you guys really do stand out in those ways. So I know you just mentioned that project-based learning really is the core of what you're doing here, but can you expand on that teaching and learning style and really how you're implementing that in the classroom? Sure. Um, so a lot of people say that they do project-based learning. We like to say that we do project-based learning on steroids. We got this idea that if we were able to merge contents together, especially since we were in energy school and we were teaching engineering curriculum, kids would really get to understand how subjects really do cross over and how you really can solve problems with underneath an umbrella of all yeah. four subjects. So our four subjects are engineering, science, English, and social studies. And all four of those teachers work together to plan a big six to nine week project that has some type of community outreach component in it. It has some type of relevant real world problem that kids have to solve. And then all of the curriculum that the teachers are responsible for teaching kind of mm -hmm. fall within that that big umbrella. Very cool. And I was, I mean, every single classroom we went into, they were working on a project. And it's yes. just really cool to see that kind of untraditional learning style that, you know, they weren't just facing forward, getting the lecture that way, but really interacting with each other and the material. Kids really understand why they're learning what they're learning. And then it sparks that curiosity again. And all of a sudden, that engagement, you know, the, when I was talking earlier about how I used to interview kids and their favorite subject was lunch, mm -hmm. you, know, you don't get that here. Like if you ask a kid what their favorite project is, they'll remember the driving question, They'll remember the presentation. They'll remember the energy um, corporate person that came and gave them feedback on their project. And it just, it's a very dynamic way to roll out high school. Yeah, that's incredible. I love that you guys are doing it like that. Yeah. So I'm here with Rish. He's a sophomore and I hear you're involved in a ton of clubs and activities. Can you tell me a little bit about those? Yeah, so I'm the manufacturing captain for our first robotics team. I'm also part of the Energy Project, which is an internship to develop sustainable energy solutions to Houston's most pressing problems. And we work with business and engineering mentors, ultimately competing for $15,000 to implement our solution in the real world. I also compete in UIL Science, where I compete in the physics division. And lastly, I'm an energy ambassador, so I get to talk all day about cool stuff about this. That's so cool. So you said you just talked about some cool stuff about the school. What would you say is the coolest thing or has really made your experience unique? So I think just the PBL process as a whole is really, really interesting and really, really unique to energy. We're really able to develop and think about impactful and sustainable solutions um, to the most pressing problems in the world. 
More specifically, I really like the makerspace because we're able to access industrial level equipment that people wouldn't access until college or even the workforce. Oh my gosh, you're right. Those maker spaces were incredible. I was just commenting how they're even cooler and have more resources than some of the universities that I've even been at. So that's incredible that even you as a 10th grader has these internship opportunities to work with real businesses to do real world problems. Yeah, I'm super fortunate to have access to all these tools and equipments and internships and this amazing faculty that supports all of my academic ventures, non-academic ventures, and everything I could ever hope for as a high school. Yeah, sounds like this is a really a great fit for you. Absolutely. Now I will say, just touring your campus, you guys truly do have one of the most incredible campuses we've ever seen, just in the size and how you've designed it and just all the innovative spaces. Can you just really expand on that and tell me more about this campus and your community? Right. Um, we are right in the middle of the third ward of Houston, which is a legacy community. Um, we were placed here to really bring excellence to the surrounding community. We've done a lot of community outreach projects. We've um, definitely um, knocked on neighbors' doors to try to get some interest even around this area to bring kids in. Our student population is very reflective of the Houston Independent School District's um, demographics. So we're, you know, we're, we're very proud of that. And um, when we first got the school started, um, we had an open lottery. So any student that applied um, could, could come in. And it was really the uh, superintendent's wish to create opportunity for all kids in all of Houston. Yeah, that's incredible. And I just feel like, you know, with the unique features you guys have here on your campus that you were showing us earlier, it really felt like every classroom was a maker space. Yes, so I really I'm just so commend you that. on that. Well, and that was, uh, you know, and I have a whole team of people and it really does feel like a dream team. We're all very opinionated and it definitely has been a labor of love to put this building together. But the idea was, is that we were creating a space where you could learn anywhere. You mm -hmm. could learn in the maker space. You could learn in the learning stair outside. You could learn in the hallway and mm -hmm. just plug in. You could learn with technology, but that the excitement was we were building a space where kids were gonna get excited about learning and being inspired to learn, you know, especially revolving around all of these, these new and fun STEM careers that are popping up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. So for families who might be interested in enrolling their students here, where can they learn more information? Well, um, we have our district website. We also are on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and we have a newsletter. Awesome. You can also learn more about energy on scola.com. Thank you so much for having us today. Thank you so much for being here. And that's a wrap at EIHS. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys at the next school.